L and Ben. Our drivers of SD truck company on snowy day, Ben left as SD at 8 a.m. heading east and L left SD at 11 a.m. So here we have SD truck company. So Ben left at 8 a.m. while L left in west at 11 a.m. So this is the first thing that means there are three hours less that A must have traveled by the time uh, the tracking has been done. Now the data showed that up to that time, okay at a particular time later that day the dispatcher retrieved data from SD vehicle tracking system. The data showed that up to that time A had averaged a speed of 40 and B had averaged a speed of 20 miles per hour. So the speed was 20 miles per hour and here the speed was 40 miles per hour. It is showed that A and B had driven a combined total of 240 miles. So basically I am drawing three scenarios. Number one is, number one you already have it here. The second is when A is just starting off from here while B has already moved a distance of 60 kilometers, 60 miles from SD company office and B is still traveling east at a speed of 20. That is because uh, it is the time at 11 a.m. right so 60 was already done and after 11 o'clock now they both have started moving so at 11 a.m. now we can quickly calculate the relative speed because relative speed is calculated only at the time when the two objects are moving simultaneously. Therefore, we had to just reach to this scenario that the relative speed at 11 a.m. will be equal to 20 plus 40 because A has averaged a speed of 40 is equal to 60 miles per hour. Now, and then there is a third scenario. The third scenario is when A has reached at some place and B also has reached at some place. This is ST and actually A must have reached at some place here. So. A has covered some distance, B also has covered some distance and the total distance between the two is 240. But now we need to understand that 60 miles was already traveled before B started moving, before A started moving, right? Which means at the relative speed, the distance traveled should be equal to 240 minus 60 because 60 was already traveled before 11 a.m. only. So that is 180 miles was the distance traveled at relative speed. So the time to travel this 180 mile at a relative speed of 60 miles per hour should be equal to 3 hours. 3 hours after 11 am the tracking system must have tracked them at 240 miles apart. So 3 hours after the 11 am makes it 2 pm. So that becomes our answer. B option it is. Thank you so much for watching this video.